the perfect consolation. For prisoners, we ask that God may loose them from their bonds. For captives, we ask that God may restore them to their country in peace. For those sent abroad, we beseech that God may grant them patience, good instruction, and complete reward for their labor. For the sick and the diseased, we ask that God may heal them speedily and send upon them mercy and compassion. For those of this holy church who have fallen asleep, we ask that God may grant them a place of rest. For those who have sinned, our fathers and our brothers, we ask that God not show anger against them, but grant them rest and relief from his wrath. For the rains, we request that God may send rain on places that need it. For the waters of the rivers, we ask God to fill them unto their due measure and bounds. Amen. For the fruits of the earth, we ask that God grant to the earth a fruit for sowing and for harvest, and all of us who ask and request in prayer, may he cover us with the spirit of peace and give us grace and enlighten Amen. the eyes of our hearts. Let us draw near and ask God to accept our prayers according to his will. Let us therefore rise in the Holy Spirit, growing in his grace with understanding, glorifying in his name, and building upon the foundation of the prophets and the apostles. Let us draw near and ask the Lord our God, arise for prayer. Lord, have mercy upon us, peace be unto you all. Glory 
in order to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both in one labor to the age of ages to come. Amen. Amen. Glory and honor to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the age of ages to come. Amen. Amen. Glory and honor are due to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Glory and honor are to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages to come. Amen. Amen. Glory and honor are due to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Glory and honor are to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages to come. Amen. Amen. Glory and honor are due to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages. Everyone that loves not our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ and does not believe in his birth from Holy Mary of two whole virginity, the ark of the Holy Spirit until his coming again, let them be anathema, as Paul said. Today's Pauline reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 1 to 10. Paul called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God and our brother Sosthenes to the church of God that is in Corinth, to those who are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints, together with all those who in every place call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, both their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that has been given you in Christ Jesus. For in every way you have been enriched in him, in speech and knowledge of every kind. Just as the testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift, as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will also strengthen you to the end so that you may be blameless on the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful. By him you are called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessing of the Father and the love of the Son and the gift of the Holy Spirit who came down upon the apostles in the upper room of Holy Zion. Similarly Holy come down now and we apostle and Paul, you. good messenger, healer of the sick, who has received the crown, pray, asking for us that he may save our soul in the multitude of his mercy and in his pity for his holy name say arise for prayer lord have mercy upon us peace be unto you all and with your spirit the word from the Epistle of the Disciples and the Apostle of our Lord Jesus Christ, as St. Peter, may his prayer and blessing be on our land forever. Amen. 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 Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10, till finish. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a loud noise, and the elements will be dissolved with fire, and the earth and everything that is done on it will be disclosed. Since all these things are to be dissolved in this way, what sort of people out you be out you to be in leading lives of holiness and godliness, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be set ablaze and dissolved, and the elements will melt with fire, but But accord, accordance with his promise, we wait for new heavens and a new earth where righteousness is at home. Therefore, beloved, while you are waiting for these things, strive to be found by him at peace, without spot of blemish, 
and regard the patience of our Lord as salvation. So also our beloved brothers Paul wrote to you according to the wisdom given to him, speaking of this as he does in all his letters. There are some things in them hard to understand, which, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction, as they do the other scriptures. You, therefore, beloved, since you are forewarned, forewarned between, forewarned, beware that you are not carried away with the errors of the lawless and low, lose your own stability. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and to the days of the eternity. Amen. Holy consubstantial Trinity, preserve our congregation as we gather for the sake of your name. Arise for prayer. Lord, have mercy upon us. Peace be unto you. And with your spirit. A pure fountain, which is from the pure fountain of the law, that is the history of the Acts of the Apostles. May the blessing of thy prayers be with thy people forever. Amen. The reading is from Acts chapter 9, verse 1 to 10. Meanwhile, Saul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked for him for letters to the synagogues at Damascus, so that if he found any who belonged to the way, men or women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Now as he was going and approaching Damascus, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why do you pers persecute me? He asked, who are you, Lord? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But get up and enter the city, and you will be told what you are to do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless because they heard the voices but saw no one. Saul got up from the ground, and though his eyes were open, he could not see anything. So they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For these, for three days he was without sight, neither ate he or drank anything. Full and great and exalted is the word of God, and it has increased in the Holy Church, and many are they that believe in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to whom be glory unto him the Savior. Even so, Lord, accept our sacrifice and Savior, and the Savior of this hour has sent to us for high recompense. Recompense, therefore, for all the riches of your mercy and your compassion, so, may the, so that we may be kept pure from all taint of our sin, and may cause all of our mind be administered before you, glorious purity, righteousness, and purity, all the days of our life in joy and in rejoicing. Arise for prayer. Lord, our mercy upon us. Peace be unto you all. And with your spirit rejoice. Rejoice. You all who we ask, healing, all holy, full of honor, ever to virgin, parent of God, mother of Christ. Offer up our prayer on high to your beloved Son, that he may forgive us our sins. Amen. Rejoice. Rejoice. Oh, you, you who did before, bear for us the very light of righteousness, even Christ our God, our virgin pure. Plead for us, our Lord, that he may have mercy upon our souls and forgive us our sins. Amen. Rejoice. Rejoice. Oh, virgin Mary, parent of God, holy and pure, very pleader for the rest of mankind. Plead for us before Christ, your Son, that he may have our save us from mission of all of our sins. Amen. Rejoice. Oh, Virgin Pew, Mary, Queen, rejoice. Rejoice. Oh, quiet of our kind, rejoice. Rejoice. Oh, you that there for us, Emmanuel, our God. Amen. We ask you, remember us all to meditate, meditate before our Lord Jesus Christ. 
that he may have mercy upon our soul, forgive us our sins. Amen. This is the time of the blessing, this is the time of the chosen incense, the time praise of our Savior, lover of man. There is the incense, and the incense is he, because he who was in her womb is more fragrant than all chosen incense. He whom she bore came and saved us. The fragrance ointment is Jesus Christ. Oh, come, let us worship him and keep his commandment that he may forgive us our sins. Michael was given mercy and glad tidings to Gabriel and the heavenly gift to the Virgin Mary. To David was given understanding and wisdom to Solomon in honor of all to Samuel, for he was the anointer of kings. To our father Peter was given the keys and virginity to John and apostleship to our father Paul, for he was the light of the church. The fragrance ointment is Mary for that and her he that was in her womb who was more fragrant than all his sins. Came and was incarnate of her. In the purity of the Virgin Mary, the Father was well pleased, and he clothed her to be the tabernacle in which his beloved Son would dwell. To Moses was given law, and priesthood to Aaron, to Zechariah, the priest was given a chosen incense. They made a tabernacle of testimony according to the word of God, and Aaron, the priest, in the midst thereof, made the chosen incense to go up. The seraphim worship him, and cherubim praise him, and crying, say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord among the thousands, and honored among the tens of thousands. You are the incense, O our Savior, for you came and saved us. Have mercy upon us.
rejoice joyful one, for God is with thee. Pray and beseech your beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, that he may grant us mercy and forgive us our sins. Rejoice, O Lord. Rejoice, 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 O Virgin, be full of grace. The Lord is with you. Intercede and pray to your beloved Son. Glory and honor are to the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, at all times, both now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Glory and honor are due to the Holy Trinity, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, at all times, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Arise for prayer. Lord, have mercy upon us. Peace be unto you all. O oh, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who did say to your holy disciples and your pure apostles, Many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which you see, yet have not seen them, and have desired to hear the things which you hear, yet have not heard them. But you blessed are your eyes that I have seen, your ears that I have heard. Do you make us also like them, ready to hear and to do the word of your holy gospel through the prayers of your saints? Pray for the holy good news. Remember again, Lord, them that have asked us to remember them at the time of our prayer and supplication, wherewith we make request of you, O Lord our God. Give rest to them that have fallen asleep before us. Heal speedingly that there are them that are sick. For you are the life of our soul, the hope of our soul, the deliverer of our soul, the resurrection of our soul. To you we lift up thanksgiving unto the highest heaven, unto the ages of ages. The Lord will come here openly, and this our God shall no longer keep silence. Before him shall flash a fire. The Lord will come here openly, and this our God shall no longer keep silence. Before him shall flash a fire. The Lord will come here openly, and this our God shall no longer keep silence. Before him shall flash a fire. The Lord will come here openly, and this our God shall no longer keep silence. Before him shall flash a fire. The Lord will come here openly, and this our God shall no longer keep silence. For him shall flash a fire. Lord, our God, Savior, lover of man, you are who did not only holy disciple, minister, if you are apostle unto the end of the world to preach and teach the gospel of your kingdom and to heal all the disease and all the sickness which are among your people and proclaim the mystery hidden from before the beginning of the world. Now also, our Lord, our God, send up on my other your righteousness and enlighten the eyes of our hearts and our understanding. Make us meet to preserve and hearing the word of your holy gospel, not only to hear, but to do according to what we hear, so that it may bear good fruit in us, remaining not only only, but increasingly, increasing thirty, sixty, hundredfold, and forgive us our sins, us your people, so that we may be worthy of the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah! Arise and hearken to the holy good news, the message of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.
continually and even unto the ages of ages to come. Amen. Reading from the Gospel of Luke chapter 17 uh, verses starting from verse 11. Now it happened as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Then he entered a certain village. There met him ten men who were lepers who stood afar off and they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. So when he saw them, he said to them, Go show yourself to the priests. And so it was that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, returned with a loud voice and glorified God, fell down on his face at his feet and giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. So Jesus answered and said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are they, the nine? Where they are not found when returned to give glory to God, except this foreigner. And he said to him, and he said to him, Arise, go your way, your faith has made you well. Now, when it was asking, asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, he answered to them and said, The kingdom of God does not come with observation. Now will they say, See here or see there. For indeed the kingdom of God and is with you. Then he said to the disciples, The days will come that when you shall, when you will desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, you will not see it. And when they will say, and they will say to you, Look here or look there, do not go after them or follow them. For as the lightning flashes out of one part under heaven, sinners of to the other part under heaven, so also the Son of Man will be in his, in his day. But first he must suffer many things and be rejected by this generation. And so, and as it was in the days of Noah, and so it will be also in the days of the Son of Man. They ate, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the days of Noah entered the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, as it was in the days of Lot, they ate, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. But on the days of Lot went out of the Sodom, and it rained fire and brand brimstone from the heaven and destroyed them all. Even so, until it will be the days when the Son of Man will reveal, is revealed. Who is like unto you, O Lord, among the gods? Easier for heaven earth to pass than one stroke of the law to fall. Who is like unto you, O Lord, among the gods? You are the God that does wonders. You have declared your strength among the people with your arm. You redeemed your people. You went into Hades, and the captives rose up from there, and you did grant us again to be set free. For you came and saved us. For this cause we glorify you and cry unto you, saying, Blessed are you, Lord Jesus Christ, for you did come and save us.
Go forth, you catechumens. Arise for prayer. Lord, have mercy upon us. Peace be unto you all. And all the people who flock them. Again, we beseech Almighty God, the Father, all Lord, our God, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who has to entreat for your goodness. O Lord, remember, O Lord, that peace, the one holy apostolic church, which reads them from one into another. Pray for the peace of the one holy apostolic church, orthodox in the Lord. All the people, all the whole flock, bless you, and the peace is from heaven, send you. And the peace in heaven, peace that is said from heaven, and send into you the hearts of us all, and vouch of us all for the safety of our therein. Vice of the peace of our country, Ethiopia, to unity to her enemies, to those who people who rule, who rule her people, and to the multitude of our neighbors who at home and abroad, adore them with the peace of King of Peace, grant us peace, for you have granted us all things, possess us all, Lord, require us, for you besides you, we know none other, we make mention of your holy name, call upon it, that our souls may live through the Holy Spirit, the death of your sin, and the death of the days of Sin may not have dominion over us, your servants and all your people, through your only begotten Son, to whom with you and with the Holy Spirit be glory and dominion, both now and ever, and the world without end. Arise for prayer. Lord, have mercy upon us. Peace be unto all of you. And with your Spirit. This is the Almighty God, the Father, our Lord, and Savior, Jesus Christ, for the blessed patriarch of us, Macarius, and Abba Matthias. That he truly preserved them for us for many years, peaceful days unto the Lord our God, who is rich in mercy, grant him to fulfill that which co committed to him the office of priesthood. Amen. Arise. Pray for. Arise for prayer. Lord, have mercy upon us, peace be unto you all. And again, we may make our supplication to Almighty God the Father, our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who has to entreat your goodness, O love of man. Remember, Lord, our congregation, blood them. Pray for this holy church and our congregation therein. Bless our congregation and keep them in peace. Grant that they may be yours with our resourcefulness or hindrance. Hindrance that may do your holy blessed will, a house of prayer, a house of purity, a house of blessing. Give us also, Lord, us, you, your servants, to end to them that shall come after us, who I save us to the end of the world, lengths of your days. And uh, Lord God, let your enemies be scattered, let them that hate your holy blessing, your holy blessing them for flee before you. But let your people who do your will at all times be blessed with blessing of a thousand and a thousand and ten thousands. Times ten thousand through you, only begotten Son, through whom with you and with him, with the Holy Spirit, be glory, dominion, was not ever in the world without end. Let us all say in the wisdom of God, the prayer of faith, we believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, whatever is visible or invisible, and we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of the Father, who was with him before the creation of the world, Light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, and without him there was nothing made in heaven or on earth, who for us men and our salvation came down from heaven, became man, and even incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin Mary, becoming human, he was crucified for our sake in the days of Pontius Pilate, suffered, died, and was buried, and rose from the dead on the third day, as it is written in the Holy Scriptures, ascended in glory into heaven, sits at the right hand of his Father, and will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. There is no end to his reign, and we believe in the Holy Spirit as the life-giving God who proceeds from the Father. We bow down to worship him with the Father and the Son who spoke by the prophets, and we believe in one holy, universal, and apostolic church, and we believe in one baptism for the remission of sins, and await the resurrection from the dead, even the life of the age to come. Let he that is pure, let him receive of the communion that is not pure, let him not receive it, that he may be consumed by the fire of the God in which is prepared for the devil and his angels, 
Whosoever have a revenge in his heart, and also whosoever have in him strange thoughts and fornication, let him not near draw, let him not draw near fathers, brothers, fathers, mother, brothers, and sisters. Those who are gathered in this church will be ready to receive the Holy Communion. If you clean our heart, knowing that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was born of our beloved Virgin Mary, Mother Virgin Mary, and died for us for our sake, rose from the third day, has ascended to his Father, sat on the right side of his Father, will come again to judge the living and the dead. So believe it with that, repent, and understand that we'll be receiving a true the flesh and body of our Lord and Jesus Christ, though we may have remission of sin and salvation, but in fornication and guilt, if we come here near, since it's been paid the price by the precious blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, may the Holy Spirit help us and guide us to repent, receive the flesh and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If there is anyone who disdains this word of the Cassis, laughs, speaks, or stands in the church in an impudent manner, let him know and understand that he is provoking to the wrath our Lord Jesus Christ and bringing upon himself a curse instead of a blessing, and will get from God the fire of hell instead of the remission of sin. O Lord, and my God, author of Allah, giver of peace and love, and take away every evil thought, revenge, envy, all that, lust of flesh, make me to be added to you, holy servants who pleased you by the beauty of their lives in the days of love and peace, because it is you who did come down, who did come from heaven and make peace between the inhabitants of heaven and the inhabitants of the earth, and did gather together all your people to be good to glory you, for yours is the glory in the world without end. Arise for prayer. Lord, have mercy upon us, peace be unto you all. God, great eternal, who did form man and corrupt, you did abolish death through the first fruit, for through the envy of Satan, by the advent of your living Son, O Lord, our God, and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you did fill all the earth with your peace, which is from heaven, where in the armies of the heavenly.